Welcome back. We're going on to Dover after kind of a cruddy race at Charlotte. I'm disappointed in myself for that one race, but I feel like I earned it. Like I don't, I don't think it's too bad. Like that was our first like DNF at a track that I probably could have made it all the way. I feel like that was my first real like mistake race. I made one mistake and it started slipping from there, and then we ended up DNF DNFing a little bit later. So uh, either way, we had some awesome races leading up into that race, and then it uh, you know finally had a shitty race. It happens. But as you can see, we got kind of a tribute paint scheme to Food Shitty. Shout out to them for being on board for like 16 or 18 races. Uh, and this is finally the last race, probably, with Food City. So we're running the Food Shitty colors. I think it looks all right. But look at the point standings after Charlotte. So uh, Dale Jr. is still your points leader, followed by Gordon, Tony Stewart, Ryan Newman, and Rusty Wallace hopped up in the top five in points. Uh, we'll scroll down here. We made it all the way up to P22 in points. Don't really want to see where we're at now. 25th <laughs> could be worse yeah this is the last race for food city uh one race remaining out of the 18 races we'll take a look at our, our uh, other sponsors so we got 12 there 7 12 and 12 so we got uh quite a ways until some of these other ones run out but uh yeah man since we've gotten kind of farther into the career and gotten better we get these bigger uh sponsorship deals so uh, the next one should be i guess another 18 race deal or something something like that but uh we should get a better sponsor expectation, so it's been pretty easy to finish in the top 30 the last uh, couple of races. I never thought I'd say that, but uh, yeah, so with that should come some more money, so I'm excited for that as well. A quick look at our garage here. So once again, we tore up a lot of our stuff at Charlotte, but the good thing is we've got a lot of stuff to fall back on. So at the end of the day, we're still looking really, really good, and we got a lot of money in the bank that we've saved. So uh, not only are we going to have really good components still, after DNFing in Charlotte, but uh, we've got money saved on top of that. So we go off into statistically probably one of our worst tracks, if not our worst track, other than probably like Bristol. We've just never really had speed here, like ever. So uh, we're going to hopefully turn that around today. So 61 tire grip, 59 tire wear, that's not too bad. 62 engine power, 57 efficiency, and we've got two fresh bodies. We'll take the best one, 64 downforce and 57 drafting. 62 car rating. Let's hop into it. All right, well, out to qualify here. So, um, it was pretty quick in practice. Uh, toward, towards the top of the charts, so. Not a lot of grip in it. And that's pretty scary, because this track is scary. Let's be honest. Um, but this is the first time I think I've had sort of speed here, like not last speed, so. Um, yeah, that makes it almost even more scary. So, as long as, you know, we can kind of get our race together and, uh, man, I got back in the gas a little too early. Uh, as long as we can kind of get the race to spread out and run my own race, I think I'll be okay. But, fortunately, I think I got a lot of rivals setting off in this race. So, yeah, this ought to be fun. Yeah, big run off the corner. I'm going to hit the wall. Let's see what we got. Well, that's good. Okay, B15. Not bad. Welcome to Delaware for the running of the MBNA Armed Forces Family 400 at Dover International Speedway. So what can we expect in this one, Barney? Well, the name Monster Mile does say it all. It takes total concentration each and every lap. You'll see guys tagging the wall out of turn two and four all race long. And let me tell you, they'll feel it tomorrow morning. Tony Stewart will begin the race in the top five in points. Being in the top five is a huge boost in self-confidence. I know everyone on that team is very happy with their performance this season, and rightfully so. The 83 car is finalizing negotiations with sponsors about a contract extension. You know, when you keep your sponsors Ooh. happy and you're a successful Breaking driver, news, chances and are they're going to continue to support you and offer you more and more contracts, and even better, more and more money. Dale Earnhardt Jr. has strung together back-to-back -to -back top fives, and I'm sure he'll try for another one. Well, his team is real excited about their success so far. In fact, I believe they'll have another top five race as long as he keeps his car out of trouble. Hey, big time Rusty Wallace on pole. Mark Martin. And 
I saw Dale Jr. starting pretty far back. Oh, man. Robbie Gordon up in there. Ricky Craven. Hell, yeah. Hermie Sadler. Is that a wild Hermie Sadler I see over there? What the hell? We yeah, got out qualified by some winners. All right. Here we go. 15th. We got some rivals. This ought to be scary. And another 100 lap race. Really getting tired of 100 lap races, let me tell you. Oh, man. I'd like to apologize to all my rivals. I know that's probably not going to make things better, but oh, already you can see we don't have a lot of grip. And I'm, I'm so scared. I just need this race to spread out. Let me run my own race. Oh, I'm so nervous. I fucking hate this track. I hate it in just about everything. Ah, yeah, yeah. Yay, okay. Oh, each. <laughs> okay. Just like that, Dill Jr.'s already here. Go get him, buddy. We're going to follow you, hopefully. All right, there we go. See, it already spaced out pretty good. Now we can just. Yeah, I'm not going to cross you over. You go ahead. You, you go ahead before I wreck both of us. Damn it, Dale. This is the. There you go. Go. Hit the apron. That's another thing. It's really easy to. It's like. Car likes to turn a lot too much. And it's easy to turn down there on the apron. Fuck. See what I mean? I was gonna drive underneath the Hermie Sadler, but it just turned too much. Yeah, it's like NASCAR Heat 3, like turns all of a sudden. What's up, Hermie? Woohoo, clean passes. Oh, what the hell? They're doing something up here. It's all sparks flying. All right, P15. What the fuck? Okay, it's just okay. That's good. Dale, Jar Dale Jarrett's way quicker than me, probably. It's good that he got by me. Once again, I'll follow you, hopefully for a little. Mother. What? Quit drifting, car. Come on, car. Cut, cut. Da -da 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 -da. Come on, car. No Hermie. No Hermie. Oh boy. Six laps in. And it's wrecking. It's just got to be so easy with it. Just try to run consistently and get it off in the corner. I'm, start, I'm slowly starting to figure it out. But it's so easy then to turn too much and hit the apron down there. I've got a top 15 car in me. I just got to not step on my dick. I step on my dick way too much. Like from corner to corner. But to be fair, though, it's pretty easy to do with these setups because, jeez, man, they're just so out of control. Fucking, what are you doing? Carlo, mother, what the? F Jesus Christ! I, mean, I got off in there, but damn, it's fucking threw us both around. Oh, I'm sorry. All right, Kurt, just give me a minute, dude. I swear. Oh, and then it doesn't turn. Oh, it's getting so out of shape. God bless it. Oh, Jesus. And they just flat out crashed right there, but they didn't. Hey, was that Jeremy Mayfield back here? Just like went straight. There's a corner there. I just can't stick the bottom like everybody else. I can't, I can't stick any, I can't even stick the straightaways. Fuck, fuck, I'm, I'm so sorry. Please don't hit me too hard. Oh, Matt can't sit up and over. We're just gonna hold it down, down here. Why, why, why? oh no. Oh. <laughs> up and over, oh, I got loose, I got, I did something at a turn two. Oh no. Terrible crash. Dover is a self-cleaning racetrack. As you see all these cars slide to the bottom of the track. Fucking Kenny Wallace. Yeehaw, let me come in. I want to pile in too. Leave it to Kenny Wallace to say I want to be a part of the crash too. And then flip. Yes, I'd like to pit. I'm so sorry, guys. <sighs> I'm just lucky I made it out alive. That's the thing, man. It's just This track is so tricky. It just wants to wreck constantly throughout the entire corner. So if I make it all 100 laps, it, it probably will be a win. Well, the good news is it looks like I can't go any further back than 42nd because I guess Kenny Wallace died. 
Apparently they flipped Matt Kenseth over and got him running again. And he also doesn't like me anymore. Oh, 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 nice. Oh man, he had to fix his, jeez. <laughs> okay, that was a rough one. Yeah, there you go, hey. Hey, got that thing back together pretty good. He wasn't too bad. Not too badly broken, but. All right, here we go. Yeah, this, is a lot, this is a rough stretch of races. We're just gonna do the best we can. Hey, at least we got fresh tires. Oh, what the hell was that? Well, free spots. Easy, Ashton. News coming up quick. This guy. Excuse me, Ashton. Now we're just gonna get through these guys without crashing. Oh my God, it's so bad. Just there we go. Just fucking blow through the corner. Just drive right past him. Look out, thank you. Christian, be a block, be, be the lead blocker for me. Fuck. Oh, that didn't work. I'm trying so hard. I'm trying to really. I'm trying so hard not to. not a wreck. P34, Matt Kansas pissed. Please don't hit me. Just want to drive away, run my own race, tear up my tires. I can even get by him. Like, I gotta stop doing that. I don't turn in. Oh, no. That was probably. What the? This was probably gonna have to be a caution. I nearly flipped in the apron. Can we get a replay of that? That thing is fucking hopping around. I was afraid I was gonna flip over and bounce it off the wall. I hit the wall, I think, but I don't know what the hell that was. I do that at Texas every once in a while. Okay, well, there's two cautions by me. Um, yeah, I turned too much and I came down in front of Turning they do. Um, or should I stay out? I probably shouldn't, but I think I'm gonna do so anyways. Should probably pit and fix my damage again. Just get tires and fuel, honestly. I was thinking about it, man. I was thinking about staying out, but that's really probably not a good idea. I'm gonna tighten this up a little bit, see if that helps. Probably not, but you never know. Oh, I didn't say that. <laughs> Jeez. Hey, if we get a good enough pit stop, you know, we might be able to beat a couple of people off of pit road. There's Dale Jr. I guess he had a really bad stop. He came out behind Christopher Fittipaldi. Yeah, I don't think we came out last. All right, here we go. We're still pretty far back here. Oh, wow, yeah, look at that. Wow, there's a lot of cars. Why are there so many cars? Where's my hood? There it is. Oh! I'm sorry. I know you're upset. I hope that makes it feel better. Oh, man. Oh, you know what? I think it does feel a little bit better. Now, the problem is now i got to make sure I don't shove and hit the wall on the exit of the corner. It's still really loose everywhere except the exit of the corner, so. <laughs> There's that. Oh, Stan Barrett. Hey, buddy. Time to see. I got by a great bit for clean ones. I don't know if I got a second one in me here. Oh, I had a run! Yeah! Oh, I might have another one in me. Yeah, Greg. Oh, Christian. I see, I hit that apron and it just like automatically just sends me right back up the track. Okay, Ward Burton, let's not. Let's not wreck you. Not yet. Okay. That one wasn't me. It technically probably was me, but it wasn't me. You know, with all the cautions of pit stops, who's that, Matt Kenseth? Do you think they would have took that piece off or taped it back up or something? Oh man, now do I pit here? What lap are we even on? I don't even know. But we've got track position, so I'm gonna I'm gonna take an educated guess and say I'm not gonna pit. I think that's probably the best strategy here. Did anybody pit? No, this is the point standings. That helps a lot. Thanks. 
Okay. I don't think anybody pit. It, I mean, none of the leaders really pit, it seemed like, so. Oh, yeah. There we go. Nice little restart. Uh, especially helps when there's the all-star cast of Chase Montgomery, David Green, Stan Baird up in here, Kevin Grubb. Yeah, thanks, guys. Yeah, I think that adjustment helped out a little bit. I went down on the tire pressure to kind of help me on the long run a little bit. Somebody's... Oh, oh. Nobody back out on the track. That's not good. That means they're just going to be really fucking slow, which ought to be really fun. That might help me out a little bit or something. I want to see something like that happen at Bristol. I don't know if it's happened yet in the career mode. Somebody come back out on the track after blowing up or something. Just cause a huge just pile of cars in Martinsville. I don't think it's happened at Martinsville. Oh, here we go. Oh, yeah, that adjustment definitely helped out a little bit. Definitely not as out of control. Oh, bad did it. I'm not sure how all these slow guys ended up out in front of the faster guys. Maybe they took two tires or something. We're up to P18. And the car's feeling a lot better. Look it up. Oh. oh, please don't hit the debris. I don't know where. It oh, there it was. I bet. <laughs> Oh, I about hit it. I would have fucking flipped shit if I hit that and blew my tire. That's one. That's still one piece of. That is a crock of shit in this game. Let me have you know. That when a, when debris comes off and you know is laying there on the track, I'm the only one who could blow it at a at a tire. Oh, it's Kenny Wallace. Everybody else can run over, and be just fine. I run over it, I blow my tire, flip my dick off, fucking end up in a, out, just like fly outside the track. We're going to wait and see what everybody else does here. I'd like to pit and get more tires, but <laughs> I don't even know if we have any tires left. Let's see what the first couple of leaders do. I don't want to stay out and be the only guy, and I also don't want to pit and be the only guy because we got track position. Uh, okay, they're not pitting, so I'm not going to pit either. All right, here we go. Oh, we got one lap down in cars. Is that Mike Skinner up there? I bet it is. <laughs> Poor Mike. The only car lap down. Starting on the inside. Oh, man. Poor guy. I'm surprised Mike Skinner's still chugging, to be honest with you. I thought he would've hung, he would've hung it up by now in the career mode, but what a champ. Man. Oh, what the hell. Oh, is this the really slow car? Oh, that's right. Kenny Wallace was the slow car. Yeah, 23. I didn't even think about it. Free spots, maybe, if I can not wreck it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's a little slow, isn't he? Okay. okay, that's good. That no, worked out really good. Hey, hey. I didn't blow a tire! What the? Kenny Wallace! <laughs> I think the hood and the deck lid flew off. Oh my god! <laughs> oh no, the hood's still here. Did the hood not fly off? No, because the deck lid was still here. I think the game broke itself. What, the hood definitely flew off, unless it was from another car. The hood and the deck lid totally flew off, because, look, the deck lid's still there in the replay, too. Oh, that's hilarious. Okay, guys. Are we going to pit this time? Kenny, I suggest you do. Okay, we're not pitting. Oh, Kenny Wallace is. Yeah, good job, buddy. All right. Oh, man, does that put... Um where does that put Kenny Wallace? I guess he's just at the back since he's in the lead lap. Or no, he's not on the lead lap. That's who it was up there. Oh. <laughs> That's right. It's not Mike Skinner. I confused myself. That's who it is, sticking up the whole <laughs> Oh, this race turned awesome all of a sudden. This is great. Look at this. It's like me and NASCAR Heat 3. Wow. Oh, Steve. Oh, I threw, oh, I'm so, I'm so sorry. Whoa! Taking swings, 30 mile an hour off. Bold strategy! Well, that's all he's here for, I guess. That's why he came back on the track, fucking trying to Matt Kenton my ass. I see how it is, Kenny. So I'm sorry you piled into me and then flipped your dick off. That's right, he fucking flipped pretty good. I really should have pit. Really? Right here around a half a tank. Oh, no. 
Master cars, you know where to go. Number eight is looking right. Clear all around. It didn't turn. Fucking get out of the wall. Showing it's on. At least Kenny Walls is back there. Just fucking everybody. All clear, buddy. Save me a little couple of spots. I really should have pit. I'm I'm telling you that. Keep him behind you if you can. Okay, time to go. The leader is about six seconds ahead. Oh, this thing's just fucking all over the place. Oh, damn it, Steve Park's place. Alright, Kenny. Time for another piece of your car to fly off. Number twenty five, Ooh, 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 I'm sorry. Oh, I'm really sorry for this. Still beside you, careful. The twenty five car has got a run on you. Oh, that's not good. Oh, this is not good. I'm not so sure I can make it on fuel to the end if I when I have to pit. Like I don't know if I can get my fuel window. It's a scary thought. Hey, look, it's Kenny Wallace again. Oh man, what a cool ass. I knew I was gonna do that. Well, shit. Thanks, Kenny. Be careful. Using up those We're gonna need that to fly off. We don't want him getting beside us. R okay. That'll fly off eventually, right? Got one down low. Someone got by you. Let's go after it. There you go. You're All clear. my friends go by. Oh, that's gotta fly off. Bongo. These guys are hitting pit road. It's gotta fly off like. Next lap or two. It's flapping. Come on, flap your way off of there. We didn't put it on there too well. I know that for sure. Fucking Steve Park. We're gonna let him go. Number 30, now look. We drop back a spot. Let's push it. The 30 car is blocking. Come on, deck lid. Come on, deck lid. I can only go like another lap of lap on fuel. Fuck. Got a car Just right do me one solid, man. Oh, I'm gonna stretch another lap just in case. I'm I'm gonna be running out of fuel, but we need those cautions. I don't even think I can make it from there. We're down a spot. Keep digging. Number 97 is looking high. Come on, come on. The 97 car is outside. Fly off. Take care of those Goodyear Eagles. They're on both sides. Yeah, it's not gonna fly off. Alright, well, that's right. Number 45, it's up high. We're off the uh, We're okay. Yeah. Fuck. All four repair damage. Damn it. Well, I might I, I could probably make it, I think, on fuel. But if we could have caught a caution there, that would have been huge, man. But we're gonna lose a lot of time here fixing this damage. It's just not been a pretty race, let me tell you. Let me tell you. At least it looks like it's going to be a clean stop, so. I really appreciate that. All right, 16, 17, 18, 19. Oh, we didn't even see 20. Okay, Jesus, look at that deck lid. A bit of a gap. Well, that's really unfortunate. The 16 car. Well, we go into Pocono next. Um, I don't think we'll DNF there. I hope not. Fucking damn it. I drove my ass off the whole race, and I thought I did a pretty good job of not wrecking. I mean, I wrecked a couple times up until that point, but I didn't wreck too hard enough, obviously, to DNF. Yeah, that was just a... Um, I didn't really mean to slide up that much. I just slid up a little bit too much, and they just ass-packed me, and I died, so... What are you going to do? Well, at the end of the day, we still gained money, so... <laughs> Not going to be a good points day, but hey, Ricky Craven won. By one one-thousandth of a second! Have you ever? Oh, man, where's Kurt Busch when you need him? Well, at least we don't... F I don't think we finished last, did we? Oh, we did finish last. Son of a bitch. Can you all still putt-putted and... Ah, oh, man, figures. Well, that really sucks. <laughs> 
Oh, man, I really wanted to give Food City a good run to go out. Uh, shit happens, man. Shit happens. Can't get too caught up in it. So, Pocono, once again, another very good track for us, but uh, I'm pretty confident, man, that uh, we can have a pretty good run there, I think. Once again, not a track that we haven't brought a lot of speed to, like, ever. I think we can we can figure it out. We figured it out a lot. I mean, we brought speed to Dover this time. I know I wrecked, but I did pretty good up until that point. Made some good adjustments, but uh, unfortunately, it was just... Uh, yeah, it is DNF, so that's two in a row, but uh, we're going to have to make it a point to to get it back going to Pocono, but got a bit, a bit of business to take care of here. Let's see it. Okay. 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 Oh, average finish. Oh, fuck off with that. Finishing 25th. Qualifying. Oh, we might have to go that route. Oh, but I don't want to totally take over the car. Could you imagine a four hundred thousand dollar bonus each race? To be fair, Aw, oh, we can't average finish in fifteenth. Oh, oh fuck! That might be our only option. Oh shit balls, shit balls, shit balls! That might be our only option. What's our average finish? Well, I'm sad to say. Wow, that's those are twenty seven races. Yeah, I'm sad to say. We, I think we have to run the primary. Because here's the thing. Oh, yeah. Our average finish is 24.8. So we definitely... Well, like, that was out of the question. This one, maybe, but probably not. This one, we could probably finish top 25. We, we could usually qualify top 25. And we're 26th in points. This is our only... Oh, this is our only option. That's our only option. Ah. <sighs> Oh, man, I hate to do this because I hated the primary the last time. But the the problem with the primary last time is that I couldn't I couldn't complete it. This one is my only chance of completing all the sponsor expectations. Because these two, I can't. It's out of the question. And that yeah, that's that's the only other problem. That's if I don't complete it, then uh, oh man, yeah. But if we do complete it though, that's a that's a that's a hefty chunk, hefty chunk of money. So. Here we go. Welcome to the welcome to the team, Tib Tiburon, Tiburon. Oh fucking damn it, man! And just like that, we're the 199 car. I hate to do it, but unfortunately, that is that is our only option. We are now the the Tiburon Dodge. But hey, at least you know if we gain a lot of money out of this, I'll be okay with it, and then we can say fuck it. 18 races down the road. But uh, this is my next chapter. So now we got to have a big run of Pocono. Get in the top 25. We've got to qualify a top 25, finish top 25, and be top 25 in points. And we're going to get like 400 grand, I think. So, Well, there you have it. Man, I wish they wouldn't have done that. And why did they give me like two shitty options? Two options the game knows I can't do. Just to bait me into having to take the primary. Yeah, it's just bad memories from the last time we, we had a primary sponsor. It was It was not good. But to be fair, though... We did win a race as uh, having like a full primary paint scheme. So, so with that, appreciate you guys watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. It was a wild one. I really wish I could have finished, but um, who knows, man? This sponsor might be a might be a blessing. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. We're going to the Pocono 500. I hope we don't suck.